uh, Ice Cube is here and making his way into the uh, building. Was he getting stopped by people? No, you just got people milling around out there. Like, come on. Act like you've been here before. <laughs> <laughs> Who, if you think there was ever a time where Ice Cube was gangbanging in L.A. and he'd think he'd be worth $140 million oh. and people would be clamoring around for him. Good for him. Yeah, no kidding. Good for him. Uh, Ice Cube is promoting his new movie, Fist Fight, which we will uh, be talking about with Charlie Day when he comes in the studio Looks and like Tracy it's Morgan. Funny. And Looks like yeah, it'd be really it'd be funny. Very funny. Oh, and I, <laughs> look at you. You look like a superstar. Ice Cube is here. How you doing, buddy? Good. I'm good. It's I'm a good. pleasure to have you in here. Hey, man. It's real, real good to be here, man. Uh, oh, look, man. I, I, you, you, which, one's a, which one's the guy with the gun? You know uh, one of those guys? No, nah, I don't need nobody with no guns. Man. <laughs> Them hey, days is over. No, they're not. Somebody's mad at you. Nah, Somebody's nah, I'm jealous. Too, I'm too rich for that. You are. <laughs> we were just. Hey, we were, that. We were, so we just looked it up. Howie Mandel just called the show. Yeah. And I talked about it. so Howie Mandel's been like famous since I was a kid. Yeah. So he's got to be rich. Uh-huh. So we looked it up and I said, "Was he like worth eighty million dollars?" I said forty million dollars, which is great. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be a great bang out. Ice Cube says one hundred and forty million dollars. Well, That's not counting the mattress cash. <laughs> You know, uh, don't believe everything you see on the internet. Man. It's That's more, it's more say, than that? Man. You say it's Just, more than that? I uh, don't believe everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how, many, uh, how many kids do you have? Four. Are you so proud of your son for that performance in, uh, in Straight Outta Compton? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, um, you know we we super proud of him. I mean, that know? was, I, I felt like I, I was watching you. Not only did he yeah. look like you, but he, he acted like we think we know you are who you are. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I really and then Easy E, I only know from from being seen on TV and stuff. But that guy who played Easy E, I, mean, I felt like I was in that movie. I really did. I felt like they used the real guys for that. Yeah, you know, it was a trip. You know, even shooting the movie and, and seeing it cut together, I had to keep reminding myself that you know these are actors. This is not us. Yeah. So I knew if it was if if it had that effect on me, that that the audience was gonna would, love it. That, that they was gonna love the movie. W- were you surprised how many like um, that it got? The the fame that it got from people who didn't even know, like there were people who had no idea what NWA was. They were like, it was just such a really good film. Well, I mean, we knew we made a great movie. Yeah. You know? And our movie is not just about rap. You know, it's about brotherhood. It's about break up to make up. It's about rags to riches. Yeah. It's about David versus Goliath. It's uh, you know, so it's a it's a lot of stories that's universal in the movie. So we knew, you know, we hit these universal themes, and uh, you know, people were gonna gonna want to roll with us. Uh, one of the things is, uh, and I'm not gonna lie, when when uh, after police came out. I, my dad was in law enforcement. He was, he was a corrections officer, but I didn't have that. And plus, I was white, and I grew up in New York, so I didn't have that same anger that you probably did. But it was really through. I mean, I think I think there's some white kids out there that, that yeah, but not me. I was I, I was like you. a good mama's boy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I'm saying I didn't. I, at first, I was like, why would why would they? mess with the police but then when you see uh boys in the hood and yeah. you see nwa that one scene where you guys are standing outside the uh the recording studio yeah and the cops roll up on you i bet that happened a lot more than one time and i can understand a little bit better where the anger came from yeah they would sweat us all the time right there in, in yeah. the horns, you know working on the on the record because it was a uh, it was a Mexican food spot that we would all walk to and, right. and the cops really didn't want us walking around there you know they they didn't mind us just parking and going in the studio but when we start walking around and going down the street and all that they would they would jack us multiple times even uh, the black cops are mean to you yeah man, yeah you know because it's a mentality you right know, they, it's, a, it's a blue thing it's not a black thing it's not a white thing it's a blue thing and, and citizens need to realize you know that that you know they really see themselves as uh, you know us versus them on a lot of levels and you know so black cops you know once they put on that uniform most a whole of the different time, thing. you know they 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 do their thing and and um you know i guess you know, try to prove that they're blue. You yeah, know, and that they're not. You, you think know. it's gotten any better since the since the eighties? Well, I don't know. Yeah, you know what I mean. Because, you're in a different neighborhood. Well, a lot of things, you know, didn't get recorded in the eighties, so yeah. you don't really know. But now you're seeing a lot of stuff recorded, and you're still only getting a fraction of what's really happening out there. So I think it's always been bad. 
And it's never been, you know, like, oh, it's better or it's this. Right. It's just always been an issue. Um, so, you know, I, I just think, you know, it's, it hasn't gotten any better. The one thing I do, the one thing I do want to have uh, the complaint about for Straight out of Compton yeah. was in that same scene mm -hmm. where uh, Jerry came out and he said, these are just young artists who are doing nothing. And you got some tells me. Some of you weren't all that nice. Like somebody, yeah. <laughs> somebody was smoking pot or something. At some point, you guys weren't just we're just writing down words on a piece of paper. <laughs> I mean, everybody was trying to transition into being full time artists. Into you know, you know, it was it was a hobby until they start paying us. Right. And then it became like, yo, we real artists. So, you know, it's just it's it's a thing where. You know, I, I think all new artists, you know, always have a little spillover from from where they came from. Who's a, who's the best rapper now? As far as what? Uh, I don't know, like out, like who new newer rappers? Like who do you like? Who do you think? I mean, ain't nobody better than me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all right, uh, after Ice Cube, who would you say? Like you don't like Drake, right? That's not your thing. No, Drake is dope. Drake is cool. You like Drake that? Drake is dope. Oh, that guy I mean, like, you know, he's, a, he's a dope artist. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying he uh, he knows how to put a record together. So, you know, I, I got to give him props on that. Who's the most legit hardcore guy besides you? It's no such thing as legit hardcore guy. Because everybody the thing is, is you commit a crime and it's not rapping no more. It's not hip hop. It's 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 criminal activity. So it's no way to be the hardest legitest guy. Yeah, you know, you either can flow. Or you can't. You either got topics or you don't. Wow, you definitely have uh, have matured from that time, man. You're you're a different guy. That's yeah, a great, you know, in a great a grown, way. I'm a grown man. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? I ain't no I ain't no youngster no more. So I can definitely put everything in perspective. How old of a guy are you? Uh, you know, old enough. <laughs> what you got? What you got? Uh, I'm just curious. I'm just <laughs> curious. I mean, you done looked it up already. No, I didn't. I didn't. I'm I'm I feel very. I'm 45, and I feel very old this year. Why? I don't know. I just, man, I feel young. Man. You do? Yeah. I don't know. We all young. No. Nope. Yeah, I, man. I gotta go get glasses now. I'm starting. Like I feel like my warranty's expiring. <laughs> Things are going. My knees click a little. I bit. agree with Ice Cube. We're young. You're old. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that might be. But true. there's some young dudes that wear glasses. So, so what's up? There's some teenagers wear glasses. I know. So it's just trip off that. I just, <laughs> <laughs> uh, now fist fight. Let's yeah, talk about fist this. Fist fight. Well, do you, did you write any of this? Or you just acting in it. Just acting in okay. it. You know, it's a funny movie. It looks, dude, it looks hilarious. I watched the trailer a bunch of times. Yeah, yeah, I saw it before we knew you were coming in, and I was like, this looks like it's going to be funny. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those movies, you know, it's like what you go to the movies for, you know, one of those popcorn, feel good, have fun, uh, you know, fast times at Ridgemont High kind of deal. <laughs> it's it's about teachers who, get in, uh, who are having a schoolyard fight after the school. Yeah, you know, it's about teachers who, you know, everybody on every job. It's some person at that job that's this close from getting their ass whooped. You yes. know what I mean? Yes. And they don't know it. You know what I mean? So, Absolutely. So this is that movie where, you know, uh, this dude is fed up. You know, I play a teacher named Mr. Strickland, and uh, I'm fed up with this teacher who gets me fired. Right. And, uh, you know, it's on at 3 o'clock. Now that's Parking Charlie line. Day, right? Ch yeah, Charlie Day. Did you know? Did you watch It's Always Sunny? Did you know Charlie before the movie? Yeah, I was a big fan of Charlie. You know, I love his style of comedy. Yeah. You know, I knew he'd be perfect, you know, uh, to pair up against me and him uh, with this with this subject matter. So it's, it just works. You know, we just got a great chemistry. You, uh, it's great because you and Kevin Hart are great together. Yeah, yeah, Kevin. Because you play the legit angry guy. And to see you now with Charlie, where he's already paranoid as it is, and every other thing that he does, the two yeah. of you together, it looks hilarious. And Tracy Morgan's in it. Yeah, Tracy is funny. You know, this is his first movie back. Yeah. You know, uh, since the accident, so you know he's he's still funny, still crazy, still Tracy. He is. I can tell you right now, out of all the years I've been doing this, he is the most insane guest we've ever had in the studio. Without a doubt, you know, uh, <laughs> unfiltered. You know, this dude don't care. He does know? not care at all. I mean, you like comedians like that. You That's know? how you, you like, want it, and yeah. everybody's afraid to say things. Yep. And Tracy's not afraid at all. No, not at all. Because he's, he's old school with it. He is I absolutely old school. When, now, this movie doesn't come out until February. February 17th. And you're out here. Are you down here for the for the championship game or just to promote the movie? I'm out here for a little both, you know yeah. what I mean? I'm, I couldn't. You like college football. I couldn't care less. It's here, and I don't care at all. 
I mean, I love it at this point. Right. Uh, you know, it's it's kind of hard because you know you don't really you know know these cats. Right. But <laughs> but you know they the great athletes. You know the. It's exciting. Yeah, lot, it's a, a good scoring. atmosphere. You know, it's a yeah. lot of scoring. Yeah. You know, you watch these games and it might be 50 to 60, you know, and yeah. you watch NFL, it might be 9 to 6. Yeah, right? it was 6-7 you know for most yeah. of the game yesterday. It's like, uh, you know, so, you know, they got an exciting brand of football. Yeah. And, you know, college is, is a great, you know, uh, tradition in this country. And well, people good. get excited. And I'm excited to go over there and, Step on the field, you know. Yeah. I might do a down and out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You're right. I'm the only one that feels old. I could do a down and out. I'd pass out at the 30-yard line. Uh, Ice Cube is in the studio with us. Uh, I'll tell you one of the other things that I loved uh, about uh, Straight Outta Compton was, man, you guys just had to pick a girls back in the day, didn't you? It was you? crazy. It was, I mean, that must have been a great life. It was crazy. It was insane. Uh and it was not natural. No. <laughs> you know, it wasn't. What's the most girls you've ever been with at one time? Come on, man. I, I asked, I asked not, who not Mike, look, huh? Michael Irvin. I asked Michael Irvin that, and he made me guess, and I guessed three, and he said it was like seven or oh, something. He said, uh, you said five, and he said north of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Good for him. A that, real man won't speak on that, brother. Nah, yeah. Well, you know, you got to understand. You got to understand. Yeah. For guys that are never going to have that opportunity, <laughs> we have to live We have to live through that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, so there's been a lot. Like, what's, like uh, you know, Motley Crue, the rock band Motley Crue? Yeah. They they did they used to do a thing before they went out on tour where they'd set the, they'd set the bar. Uh, whoever slept with the oldest person won. <laughs> and uh, I'm wondering, uh, let me just throw this out there and you tell me yes or no. Uh, ever mother daughter? Look, man. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I mean, that's that's in my this mind. This fight's a great movie. You know? <laughs> February seventeenth, and I can't wait to see it. I'm sure yeah. it's gonna be great. You and then the whole time, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna watch it on the screen. And be like, he definitely did that. Mother daughter. <laughs> All right, tell me about this. What about when you go to other countries? Because you yeah. guys were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. rightfully so. Mm -hmm. uh, and when you go to other countries, are you amazed at at uh, or in the beginning were you amazed? That they knew the music so well, because in other countries, to me, yeah. I'm like, they don't even get to hear. It. I don't. I, it's so foreign, literally. It's it, it's amazing to yeah. me, you know that that you can go to a country, you know, like Japan, and you know, isn't it, it weird to watch Japanese speak people? English, but they know your words. Yeah, they like rocking to your music, and um, you know, it is an amazing phenomenon that just lets you know the power of music. You know, it's it's one of those things. It's it's like comedy. You know, everybody, you know, likes to laugh. Yeah. You know, everybody, you know, wants to hear a good song or likes a good song. So, you know, it's just the power of music. It's a universal language. So, it's amazing. But when you really break it down, you know, I think that's the only thing that really can break through all barriers. Sure. Is music. Music. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't. I don't know. Are your parents? Are, is your mom alive? Yeah, yeah. Everybody's okay. alive. How How happy is your mom? Because she was probably like, "There's no way little O'Shea is gonna come out to be. There's no way he's gonna know." And then he went. When When you're like, "I want to be a rapper," she's gonna be like, "Oh God!" Now look at you. No, Megan. she she was she was supportive. Yeah. Because anything that would keep me from hanging out, anything that would keep me from just, you know, uh. Just gang, thanks, homie. I appreciate that. <laughs> brought me some coffee. <laughs> Anything that that would keep me from just going full out gang banging, right? Was was positive to her. So you know, if it was like hanging out with Dr. Dre or hanging out on the corner, you know, yeah. it was like go with Dre. You know, so hey, he's a doctor. Yeah. You know, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, you. Know, <laughs> <that's right. laughs> so uh, it, it was just you know it was supportive because you know. Really, when you really in the hood, you want you don't want to just waddle and hang out. You you trying to figure out how you gonna get up out of here? Sure. Yeah. Who who's your uh, who are you tightest with? Any of those guys? Any N NWA guys now? Like who just? Uh, me, me and Rand are tight. Yeah. Me and Yella. Me and Dre are tight. Yeah. You know. Uh, but as tight as grown men with careers can be. Right. You know, it's kind of like. Text you every once in a while. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Every once in a while we, we get together or, you know, I, when I go out on tour, I bring Ren and Yella sometimes. And, yeah. uh, you know, they rock with me. So it's fun to just relive and see how far we've come from, from the days when we were, you know, 
fussing and cussing at each other back in them old studios. Oh, when you stood on stage, all of you together at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I thought... They have to be sitting there looking at themselves from from the outside now, going, "Look at us! Look at all the stuff we've been through, and where everybody. First of all, nobody nobody believed in rap, nobody believed in NWA. Now you're getting a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and everybody's out there applauding you. That had to be the greatest feeling. It's great, you know, to be recognized, you know, especially how despised we were when right. we first came out. You know, the, even the industry didn't want to support us, you know, in a lot of ways. So um, to to have it come full circle and for us to get validation in a way in the business, yeah. it is a great feeling. And, uh, you know, even this year, Straight Outta Compton ends up winning a Grammy, you know, like, you know, one of those. Yeah, uh, we you owe know, it to lifetime you. Lifetime yeah. <laughs> We should have gave it to Sorry. you. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Millie but, Vanilli yeah, was yeah, so yeah, popular. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? So... Uh, you know, it's cool. We'll take it. You know what I mean? I wish Easy was here. Yeah. Because he was the one who, you know, who was the champion. He was the one who was the, you know, the flag bearer of, of uh, this kind of hip hop. So, yeah. So, you know, uh, I wish he was here. So it's a little bittersweet. Still, it was good that you guys got recognized. If I can ask you, this is what, now you got to keep in mind, we don't know you as a person. We only know the per- persona. So for you to be drinking Starbucks right now, it shows a it shows a side of you that I never, what's the, what's the one thing you do that I wouldn't believe? Like, I always see Rev Run and Bubble Bath. <laughs> <laughs> what's the one, what do you do that be, people would be like, so mean, surprised? Man? Like, I know I'm you're normal. just a normal, I know you're a normal Dude. guy, but in my mind, but we I put you in. gas, <laughs> but I, I, I go to, uh, uh, to, to, I don't mean that. I mean like Target. Some, uh, what? <laughs> you don't roll up in Target. Man, I don't roll up in Target in a minute. <laughs> How funny would that be? Yeah, you're walking man. through Target and you see Ice Cube, you'd be like, no Dude, way. You be, you'd be surprised when you see Ice Cube. You know, yeah. CBS everywhere. You're just the most normal dude? Man, please. I'm not going to change who I am because... I, you know, everybody else is tripping on me. Right, right. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm still who I am. I like who I am. I, you know, I'm not a persona. I'm, I'm a real sure. flesh and yeah, blood. Yeah, you're a real so, dude. So, you know, going and doing my own thing is 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 fun. And My yeah. wife, my wife's a huge rap fan. Yeah. She uh, she loved NWA. She loves Wu-Tang. And uh, this is, I got to tell you what she said. I said, hey, you know, Ice Cube was coming in the studio on Monday. And she was like, Get out of here! And I said, yeah. and she goes, she's never, she's never wanted to come in. And she's like, I might have to come in and meet Ice Cube. And I was like, No, you're not coming. In. And I said, ah, that's cool, whatever. And she, she goes, We should take a picture with Ice Cube and the kids and make it our Christmas card next year. <laughs> and I looked at her and I just, I just stared at her. And she goes, It would be worth taking them out of school for. <laughs> Your wife is a real. She's, <laughs> she's true. Like, how great, I like that. How great would that be if we had Ice Cube in our Christmas car? I said, all right, maybe next year we'll save it. <laughs> Who are you, the Grinch? <laughs> Man, where the kids at? Where the wife? I supposed to be, we supposed to be You're taking kidding me? If I rolled in here, I was like, excuse me, Mr. Q, before you leave, would you mind taking a family picture with my kids? Can you put the Santa hat on? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll stop at the Santa hat. Uh, but, uh, we were all cool. going to sit on your lap, if that's okay. I love it. Man, uh, I, first of all, thank you for coming in here today. Oh, thanks I for having it. me, man. Fist Fight is the movie. February 17th, it opens. Uh, you you make great uh, comedies, you make great movies, but man, Barbershop, uh, the the Kevin Hart movie, uh, I, 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 Friday, f- Friday. By the way, course. that was great. I loved how you guys had that in uh, Straight Outta Compton, where you were writing the oh, movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And doing that. that was such a cool little crossover. Pretty cool. Pretty yeah. cool. By yeah. the way, that's my other my other best friend, Faison Love. You yeah, like yeah, Faison. Faison's my boy. <laughs> big perm. But yeah, I mean big worm. <laughs> me, <laughs> me and Faison are working on a TV show together. Oh, is that right? Yeah, maybe you want to get behind it, produce it a little bit. We're two ex uh, enforcers. Like he worked for a drug dealer, I worked for the mob guy, and we both live in New Jersey. And we want to get out of the business, so we we decide we're going to go on a straight road and get away. But something keeps coming up. Like his mama's got to go into a nursing home. We need the money, so we got to do one more job. So it's always us having to do one more job. Mm-hmm. We'll get we'll let you bid on it if you want. We'll get, okay, get right. with Faye on. I got you. And they yeah, drive around in a Miata. Yeah, we yeah, only have one car. Yeah. We have to share the car. It's just me and him in a Miata. I mean, I, I'll I'll buy the script just to see just y'all on that. too. In a Miata. <laughs>
<laughs> That's the script. That's uh, the movie right, right there. All right, that'll work. Listen, Fist Fight looks great. Ice Cube, Charlie Day, Tracy Morgan. They're fighting in the schoolyard. They're teachers. It's tough. It's tough, Ice Cube. I like that. I don't want to see. Don't don't make any, like, break down emotional movies. Don't ruin my image of you. Uh, okay. Yeah. No, no nice, Cube. You could be a little <laughs> nice, but don't do anything where they got you crying. You know what I mean? Hey, man. I hey, mean, unless look, it, man. Real yeah. men cry. What's when's wrong the, with that, when's the last time you cried? Man, non, I cried, non I cried Saturday when the Raiders lost. You did not. Oh. <laughs> That's a football cry. You didn't cry. You were sad, nah, but you nah, didn't That cry. was a snotty nose. Yeah, yeah. I mean, booger nose cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seriously, when's the when's, you ever tear up during a commercial? Like a I commercial, yeah. Like uh, we have oh, a Publix, 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 Publix yeah. commercial. We have yeah. a supermarket chain on here that's constantly throwing like, like uh, like if you show me one of those videos where the soldier comes home and surprises their oh. kid at school, I'm gonna be like, oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 that'll get you. That's late at night YouTube when nobody's looking, crying. <laughs> nah, nah, you know, nah. No, no. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's what I want. That's what I'm saying. You okay, do not, you do you not let me down. Fist fight, you're gonna love it. Dude. I'm gonna love fist fight. No crying in fist fight. Except you, for Charlie Day. He yeah. did a lot of crying. Should, he, I fear, though, at the end of this movie, because of the way it's set up, that Charlie will get the best of you. I don't want you to spoil it, but I fear that that is the case. Never know. Please. <laughs> Look at you with your Man, sleeves you know, all rolled up. Yeah, yeah. No, no, we're, no, yeah, we're looking at the clip, nah, so. Nah, I, 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 I'll whoop Charlie's ass. Okay, you know I know you I, mean? would. I know you would. <laughs> I know you would. Whose ass would you would you kick if you could? Like now, like if you weren't rich and famous, if you're like, man, I would have. Like I still think about guys from high school I want to beat up. I really don't have nobody like that yeah. anymore. You know what I mean? I, it's like just because you're happy, uh, yeah, you're, yeah. you're yeah, saying yeah, now you're you know, rich. I'm just, I just, you know, I, yeah. I got a good thing going. Right. On, man. I ain't trying to go to jail. All right, uh, I, mean? I got you. All right, listen, <laughs> it's been a pleasure to have you in here. Thank you for being super cool. Oh man, thanks for having me, man. Just just nod, mother daughter. Like just just you don't have to say it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a break. It's the Mike Calder Show. The Mike Calder Show on 1025 The Bone.